Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And this time I want to talk to you about the interplay between passing keyword arguments and passing a dictionary to a function as an argument. So let's say I want to write a function that will get a dictionary as an argument, and it will go through that dictionary one key value pair at a time and write each of those key value pairs to a file. I call this writing to a config file, though it can be used for anything. So I'm going to say here, def write config. I'm going to take a file name, and then I'm going to take a dictionary. I'll call it D. And I'm going to say with open file name for writing, add what's called out file, for key value in D items. And then I'll say out file write, and I'll say here of key equals value backslash n. I actually really like this little piece of code in Python because it packs so much into so little. So let me just review it to make it a little clearer. So I am defining a new function, write config. It's going to take a file name and a dictionary. And then we're going to open up that file for writing. We're going to call it out file. And by using the with construct, we know that our file is going to be flushed and closed. So we don't need to worry about flushing it or closing it. All the data is going to be written. And then what do we do once we've opened that file for writing and given it the alias out file? We are going to iterate over our dictionary, one key value pair at a time with items. And for each key value pair, we're going to write it to the file key equals value backslash n. So I can now say uh, my config equals a1, b2, c3. And then I can say write config to, it's called my config txt, my config. I call the function write config. I pass a file name, my config txt. I pass it my dictionary, my config. And if we look now at my config.txt, oops, it helps to actually call the right thing, txt, we get a1, b2, c3, all is good. So this worked great. The thing is, what if I want to write this function in a slightly different way? What if I don't want to write it such that it takes a dictionary? Rather, what if I wanted to get double splat kw args? That's a totally normal, reasonable thing for me to want to do. And if I do that, then I just have to change this to be kw args items, and it'll work just fine. But what is the difference? Well, instead of getting a dictionary as an argument here, now I'm going to get individual keyword arguments. And no longer are we going to call the function as write config of my config.txt with a dictionary. Rather, I'm going to say now a equals 100, b equals 200, c equals 300. These are known as keyword arguments. Or right, maybe I'll put this here in the notebook. So these are keyword arguments, keyword arguments, also known as kw args, although you don't have to use that variable name there. And what's going to happen is these are all going to be scooped up, name value, name value, name value, and they're going to be put in a dictionary called kw args. And then we can run the function. Sure enough, if I now look at my config.txt, we see that we wrote to it a100, 200, 300, exactly as I passed here, overwriting what we had before with a1, b2, c3. So this worked just great. So basically, you can see that these are two different styles to write our function. In one style, I'm going to get a dictionary. I'm going to then iterate over that dictionary. In the other style, I'm also getting a dictionary, but I'm getting a dictionary passed to me as keyword arguments. And this is often seen as a more natural way to do it. There's just one problem. What if I now want to say write config of my config.txt, and I'm going to say D. I'm going to pass that dictionary. I don't want to pass these keyword arguments. I have a dictionary with what I want to pass already. I'm just going to say D. Well, Python's going to complain. It's going to say, wait, you can't do that. Well, D is not defined. OK, because oh, it's called my config. All right. uh, other than that, <laughs> my config. Now it's going to complain that the write config function takes one positional argument, but two were given. So the way that we define the function here, it's expecting to get one argument passed to it, and it's going to know how to associate that argument with the parameter, with the file name parameter, with the file name variable, based on its position. So it says, aha, positional argument, this is a string. We're going to assign that to file name, all good. But wait, what's this positional argument? We didn't expect to get that. So that's because kwargs is only going to get keyword arguments, things that look like name equal value, name equal value. Well, can I say kwargs equals my config? No, I cannot. I mean, maybe it'll work. And then if I look at here, cat of my config.txt, <laughs> I mean, it sort of kind of worked, right? But not exactly what we wanted because what happened here? I passed kwargs. <laughs> and what did it do? It took the entire dictionary and stored it as one line. Not exactly what we wanted. 
So how can I get around this? How can I, in a function that expects to get keyword arguments, take a dictionary and break it apart so that each of the individual key value pairs will be passed to KWRs? Well, here's what I can do. I can say write config, my config.txt, and then I can say, watch this, double splat or double star or star star, my config. And what this will do is then break our myconfig dictionary apart into its constituent key value pairs, turning it into what we did before here. So it's going to turn it into, well, I guess it's going to be turning it into, um, you know, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3. And sure enough, if I now look at the file, we got what we wanted. So if you have a function that expects to get keyword arguments, and you have a dictionary, you can turn your dictionary into keyword arguments using this double splat here, but it's only when you are calling the function. It doesn't work in other contexts. All right, so that is what double splat does there. By the way, this is a different use of, I mean, it's obviously really, but different use than what we have here for double splat kwrgs. This is when we are defining the function. We are saying that kwrgs is a special kind of parameter that expects to get all the keyword arguments that were not otherwise grabbed by someone else. And here, this is when I'm calling the function that it's saying I'm going to break apart my config into separate keyword arguments. So related, but not the same thing. One's at definition, one's at runtime. All right, I hope this was useful. Please send me questions via email, on Twitter. Don't forget that you can always get my free weekly Better Developers newsletter sent to you along with many, many thousands of other Python developers around the world. That's at betterdevelopersweekly.com. And as usual, lots more videos coming down the pike, so don't forget to subscribe. And I've got lots more videos on my channel here answering lots of questions from other Pythonistas around the world. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you again soon with more Python videos.